friendo. Good to see you. John, uh, I'm, we, are, we are privileged this evening for our guests. We have a former ambassador from the United States mm -hmm. to Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch, is going to be here. Wow. She's got a new book called Lessons from the Edge. Yeah. She's many, 30 years in the State Department, many years in Ukraine. As a matter of fact, she was one of the people who testified in the first impeachment against the former president because she was the U.S. ambassador trying to get ah, yes. the funds over there. Right, right. So they could fight the Russians. Um, folks, uh, later, also, I'll be giving the Colbert questionnaire to Martha Stewart. Is that true? Yes. Oh, yeah. Is this true? Is this accurate? Mm hmm That's good. Folks, you know, I spend most of my time right over there with my ears, my mind, and my heart open to the day's biggest stories, auditioning and selecting only the most topical news oboes, the most relevant and lilting violas, rounding out with some noble French horns and insouciant bassoons, then composing and arranging the newsiest, most uplifting, yet bittersweet rondos, allegros, scherzos, and sonatas to present to you the timelessly moving yet informative postmodern opus number one symphony that is my monologue, but sometimes, sometimes, folks. I wake up at the wheel of a stolen cement truck, snort another rail of ketamine and bath salts, then I strip down and scamper through a cemetery trapping rats under rusty coffee cans. After an impassioned speech to them about their need to help me save an old theater, they accompany me on a raid to a preschool music room to steal its flutes, recorders, and kazoos, where I conduct the fugitive vermin philharmonic of news that is my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile... Scherzo. The word scherzo has never been used on a late-night show before. It's the first. Scherzo. <laughs> Meanwhile... The internets are alight with the news that Elon Musk and Grimes have secretly welcomed their second child, which has many saying, wait, didn't they break up? And also, don't I not care? <laughs> Evidently, the girl's name is Exodark Sidereal, a move toward normal from their son, Phil. <laughs> Mother and baby are doing well, and that cat is sure getting better at walking across the keyboard. Meanwhile, over 100 years after Ernest Shackleton's ill-fated voyage to the Antarctic ended with his ship getting crushed and sinking in the ice, the endurance has finally been found 10,000 feet below what the experts call the worst portion of the worst sea in the world. Amazing testament to the skill and determination of these archaeologists. And I just want to say, any chance you can come find my left AirPod? <laughs> It was tragically lost during an expedition to get up from the best part of the best couch in the world. <laughs> and find my phone just keeps finding the case. I know where the case is. I don't put the case in my ear. <laughs> Meanwhile, in rock and roll plumbing news, a toilet shaped like Metallica's Lars Ulrich has been acquired by a Danish museum. <laughs> now, obviously, obviously, it's lovely. I have only one design note. I think his arms should be open so he can embrace you when you're doing your business. <laughs> Thank you, Lars. I was so scared. <laughs> Meanwhile, a bizarre-looking bat that was thought to be a lost species has been rediscovered. Seems unfair to call the bat bizarre-looking in the headline. How bad could it... Holy big face! <laughs> Look at that, I want to say, chin? The Hills Horseshoe Bat has, has not been seen for four decades. One researcher said the facial features were exaggerated to the point of comical. Their findings will be published in the New England Journal of Hurting Animals' Feelings. <laughs> Meanwhile, scientists have used an algorithm to figure out what pigs are saying. After studying recordings of more than 7,000 grunts, they say they can match each sound to emotions such as being happy, excited, scared, or stressed. So pigs are capable of real, complex emotions. Well, it's nice to know my bacon understands how happy it's making me. <laughs> meanwhile... <laughs> meanwhile, a woman on a Norwegian cruise had a rough day when she hopped in the old water slide and did quite make it. Enjoy being cooked in the happy trail of death. <laughs> Only thing worse that could happen to you on a cruise is everything else. <laughs> we'll be right back with former ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yamada.